I'm at the Durban North Baby Home and it's Mandela Day where we are planting some seedlings at this beautiful establishment and here I am today with two beautiful people who run this organisation and just introduce yourselves and tell me about who you guys are about and what it's all for. Uh, my name's Bjorn and this is my wife Jo and uh, we've been running the Baby Home since January 2016. We're a transitional home, okay. we affiliated to Child Welfare and basically we like the in-between place for abandoned children or children who've been given up for adoption and they stay with us until such time that they are either adopted or reunified with their families. How many um, babies do you guys have at the moment? We've got seven at the moment. Seven, so yeah. that's kind of your max like with you yeah. we have. Yeah, it's we're slightly over but all the baby homes are over at the moment so yeah, we, we take whatever welfare is that way, yeah. Definitely. On that note, like, um, if people watching want to get involved, like, giving their time or donations, how, how do they go about doing that? Well, we've got a Facebook page, um, Durban North Baby Home, and, yeah, being Mandela Day today, obviously it's a very, very busy day on our calendar. Um, we've got appointments all the way from 8.30 through to 6 o'clock tonight. Um, but we just, our, our heart and, and the idea behind the baby home is that every day, uh, could be a Mandela day here. Uh, we don't book by appointments. Uh, ring the doorbell. Uh, all our details are on our Facebook page. Um, and it's, it's just about giving these children as much love as you can and spending as much time as possible. It's, it's not always about the resources, although as you know, they are greatly appreciated and accepted. Um, but it's really about spending time and spread, spreading our net as wide as we can throughout the community. So this really becomes a community home. Every day is a Mandela Day, you know, like people shouldn't just take today as Mandela Day, but every day give back, you know, and especially at this home with beautiful children. To see so many people bringing their kids and seeing kids planting veggies and playing with babies, you know, for me that, that really is so important. You know, te teach your kids to get involved not only on Mandela Day, you know, it, it, it become a regular thing that you do together as Absolutely. a family. Better than going to the movies, rather come yes, here and be yeah. interactive. So quickly tell me, I see behind me there's a saying on the wall, what is that all about? And is that what you guys stand for? Yeah, that, that's pretty much, you know, what what we what we live by. Um, we, when we start the home, that we all decide that that is what, you know, what, what we actually are about. Um, and, you know, so often you get people who they can't afford to go and buy tons of things to donate and you know people will come and say you know they're almost like apologetic I'm so sorry I only I can only afford to donate like one bag of nappies and everything and I always say well it's one less bag that I actually have to go out and buy and so you know the great things is great great things in terms of you know, contributing, spending time, giving your yeah. love, and also, you know, in terms of like the actual contributions that you give, every, every donation, you know, is welcome and and appreciated because it really is one less thing that we've got to worry about trying to, you know, source ourselves and what have you. So definitely, I like that, and also, like you said, something like keep, by giving your time, that's also a donation, you know. Oh like, no, hundred percent. Yeah, kids. you know, for for me. So many of these kids have come through very, you know, they've had a rough start to life yeah. and they, they just want love and attention and I mean we give them as much as we possibly can but they need to get used to other people um, they, and they need to get the love and attention from other people and actually learn to socialize and interact with other people because they're not going to be here with us forever. They Correct. can't only know you know these four walls they need to know what it's like out there meet other people go see places you know ba basically to integrate live a them normal, into the community as much as we can a normal life amazing. yeah like it's like they're having a normal life yes actually. yeah so on that note i think we should go get our dead hands dirty get into the garden and plant some seed. Here I am with Kai and Tash and I just wanted to ask you guys what does Mandela Day mean to you and why did you guys decide to come here today? Kai, let's start with you. 
Well, I came here to help the people who are less fortunate than me. And also it's your birthday, isn't it? Yes. So you share a birthday with Mandela Day. Yes. That is so cool. Well, thank you so much for coming and helping and giving back to these kids. No problem. I just feel that Mandela gave so much to our community and it's time for us to give back. So giving back to those in need, giving back to those less fortunate and just helping out where we can. Definitely. So if there's one message you can say to the people watching out there, what would it be? Something just positive. get involved, get out there, do good. Get your hands dirty. Get your hands dirty. <laughs> I just came there, but get your hands dirty and just have fun while you're doing it.